Hello everyone, I just want to say hello because a lot of you are very worried about me and my health condition. So um, my neighbor greeted me yesterday with the words, Vanessa, don't do so much. You are looking like you are unalive. And I can't be very angry about his words because it's true. My, the last weeks was very hard for me and of course you can see it in my body condition. Um, so I was in the hospital. The last few weeks my body was very, very weak. So you know I had this Lyme disease with infection of the brain skin about four years ago and after that everything my whole health condition is going upstairs. About two years ago a doctor diagnosed me with Morbus Basedorf which is um, illness um, that came out of this origin here. Um, I don't know the English word. Maybe I could, can put it down in the, maybe I can add it in the video. So in this Morbus Basedorf make that my whole body is doing the whole time a thousand percent. So that means that um, I can't get any weight. I'm very thin now. I can do, I can eat Schweinsbraten with Knödel morning, midday and evening and I will not earn any weight. And also my hair is running so fast, like I'm running a marathon the whole time. So the last few weeks it's got much more worse and a normal heart, heart frequency is um, for me 140, 160 and the highest point was a few weeks ago I was driving my car, had no stress and I had a heart frequency from 158 by doing nothing. So um, this was the point where I no started noticing that yeah, that something went wrong and three weeks ago I got a very bad infection. Um, I've got several symptoms and I was ill. I was so ill I had to lay in the bed for around two weeks. I was not able to do anything and then it started to getting better and I was laying down for a long time. Normally I don't rest so long because I can't see that everyone around do is, is doing everything for me. But this time I was laying down in the bed for a long time and I was up for three days. I felt much healthier and then um, after three days I was ill again. And at this time I called a doctor, the doctor came home to visit me and check me and he said that I had to go to another doctor to the hospital. So. I was driving to this doctor and this doctor told me I had to go immediately to the emergency area because I told him that I have the Lyme disease in the past. So in the emergency area of the hospital um, the neurologue doctor told me that um, he had to do a puncture to test the nerve water and you have to do this here in the back between um, the spine. So um, he always told me during the war time that he's so tired, he's so tired, he wants to sleep. And then he told me that he do, is doing the puncture with the needle um, in this critical area when he is so tired. So I doesn't have a good feeling. Um, and he also don't tell me all the complication that could happen, he have to do it, but he only told me that it could happen that I have infection um, or that I have pain. That was it. And then I have to, to write my name, that I agree with everything. So then he had done it and the test was negative, so I don't have Lyme disease. And after an hour of laying, I, well, I was told that I had to go home now. So and. A half hour after I get up I had so much pain, so 
a massive headache. I cried when I drive when I was driving home with the car, and at home I immediately laying in the bed, and I was not able to stand up for two days because every time I tried to sit or to stand, the headache was so massive that I thought my brain is exploding. So I had to lay down for the whole time. And after two days I had no energy left. So I called the doctor, the doctor came home and he told me that I have to go to the hospital again. So he was calling an ambulance and the ambulance was driving me to the hospital. And in the hospital I had to lay around three or four hours, um, lay in the bed just anywhere because in Germany we don't have too much doctors so it's normal that you have to wait but if you have such worse pain you get normally earlier to a doctor but at this time not because um, a 22 young man was drunk or he was taking any substances I had no idea but he was completely out of control and they had to fix him to a bed to do anything and because of this idiot I had to lay down for so many hours with this pain. So after these hours the doctor come and told me that he get me caffeine pills and the caffeine pills will do anything better and I had to go home after it. But the doctor that was at home before told me I should not do uh, take any caffeine pills because of my other disease. The head frequency and everything will getting much higher and it will get worse and not better. So I was so angry about this doctor because he don't ask anything about my healthy his health history or anything. He just wants to give me the pills and put me away. But I had a lot of luck because uh, other doctor came and see what was really my condition and she told me that I had to stay there in the hospital. She gave me very strong medicine. Um, she gave me um, Novalgin and Ibuprofen 800 and uh, opiate. So, and this medicine really helped, but it won't bring the pain complete away. So I stayed in the hospital for several days and normally it should get better with the pills or a complete away but for me it wasn't going complete away and they want to do then a blood patch where you are going to the operation room and they use your own blood and put it to the area where they removed the, the nerve water because if there is an open area in this liqueur area um, they stop it with your own blood but it has also a lot of risk um, for example nerve damage or that you are not able to walk again. So I was not so happy about it but it was the only one where the doctor told me that would really help. But um, it's going better soon and um, I don't have to do the blood patch. I was able to go home and now I'm home and resting because I'm not so fit and um, yeah I will do some easy videos in the next weeks, like cooking videos or something, because I don't have so much energy actually. But it, it's not able to just stay at home because um, so I have no no chef, no company that I'm working for. So because of this, um, if I don't produce video, I don't earn money. It's very simple. So, um, but I'm pretty sure that I'm actually so ill because um, the private situation, which is actually at home, it has nothing to do with family members, but something really bad happened and it's so bad that there is really no coming out, no end, no sunshine at the other side, because there is no solution. I asked lawyers and other people, there is no solution and it's so bad that it can cost my whole existence everything that I've got in my whole life because yeah like I told you there's no way out and it's only possible to stay through it and let everything happen but yeah it will get very worse 
so I'm not sure what I can tell you about it, if I can tell you something about it because it's very private. But like I said, it had nothing to do with family members. Uh, and yeah, you know that there is a combination between psych, uh, between everything what happens in your head and your health. And I'm pretty sure that because of this what happened, um, everything in my health condition is going so worse actually. So, but the important thing is that I'm out of the hospital and I can go into nature again and spend, of course, time with my kids and my animals just being home because this is a big part of getting healthier. It's very, very important for me. So, again, thank you for your support, for your prayers, for your comments, for your emails, everything. I have such a strong community and this is nothing that everyone has and I'm very very grateful and thankful for that because you don't know me, you know me only through videos and you're just staying at my side in each part of my life and this is great and awesome. Thank you a lot for being at my side. We will see you soon with new videos. Have a great time. Bye bye!